Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about a solution method of linear recurrence relations with constant coefficients by a method of generating function. So this is called uh, generating function method. To, so thus we are going to talk about the solution forces of a linear recurrence relation with constant coefficients by generating function method. So let's start. So what is first of all we have to know what is called a generating function. So generating functions is so for we have, we have suppose we have a sequence a n then we define an infinite series. So, for example, if we start the sequence from n equals to 0, so we have the first term a0, second term a1, third term a2 in this way. So, if we consider the infinite series a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared in this way, so the a n x to the power n and going on in this way. So, if we write in more uh, closed form or the most compact form is it's will be n equals to 0 to infinity a n x to the power n which is called the generating function of the sequence a n and it is denoted by the sign g of x g for the uh, from the generating function and for because this is we are writing as a function of x so it is a function of x so for example let me give you some example so here is one of the example of a generating function. Suppose we consider a generating function of the sequence 2 to the power n. So let me give you by this way. So what we have? We have the sequence a n. So here a n is the sequence 2 to the power n. So here n is start from 0 to infinity. So here a naught is 2 to the power 0 because a naught means n equal we put the value n equals to 0 to get a naught so a naught is 2 to the power 0 which is 1 what is n equals to 1 for n equals to 1 we get a 1 which is 2 to the power 1 which is 2 what is n equals to 2 we get a 2 and which is 2 square which is 4 in this way. So, for this sequence, the generating function of a n, so generating, generating function, generating function for the sequence, for the sequence, so we are talking about generated function of a sequence, so generating function of the sequence a to, to the power n is what we know about the generating function of any sequence which is a function g of x with the first term a0 plus a1x. So we are talking about an infinite series a2x squared in this way the series is going on. So we write so here a0 is 2 to the power 0 which is 1. So we write 1 plus what is a1? a1 is 2. So 2 into x so 2x next a2 is 4 which is 4 into x square and next what about a3 so let me write the another term so a3 is n equals to 3 so 2 cube which is 8 so what we can write so 8 x cube and so on in this way the infinite series is going on so if we know that so we can write this is more close more compact way so it is 2x we can write 2x square and 2x whole cube plus so on now what we know that actually if we have 1 minus a whole to the power minus 1 then we can write it as 1 plus a plus a square plus a cube and in this way we get an infinite series so if <coughs> sorry so if i look over this series and you if, if you look over there you will find that here a is 2x and he, then this is 1 plus 2x plus 2x square <coughs> i'm sorry 
do execute and so on so if I put <coughs> sorry so if I put the value of a then the series is equals to 1 minus 2x equal to the power minus 1 so we get <coughs> sorry there is some problem in outside oh, this is a problem with cooking material so I am just having sneezing uh, and coughing also so 1 minus 2x not do not I think that I have a corona so that's all so it is because of some cooking materials and that smoking um, so 1 minus 2x we get 1 minus 2x so this is the generating function for the sequence to the power n so you will find that in your note also so here is that example we provide we already I have already provided this note to your student forum you will find that from there so gx is 1 minus 2x all to the power minus 1 and we get the generating function for the sequence 2 to the power n so next say I have given you this exercise you have to find the generating function of the sequence 1 to the power n so let's talk about that I just uh, give you some hints and from there you will find the generating function so what we have to do you have to find so here we go let me erase this first so I think you are all right and uh, you are continuing your study if not you may have problems after some stage so please continue your study so here we have the sequence a n and which is the sequence a to the power n n equals to 0 and it is going on so this is an infinite sequence so what is the first term of the sequence if I put n equals to 0 we will get the first term so we get a to the power 0 which is 1 to the power 0 which is 1 so n equals to 1 we get the a1 term so which is a to the power 1 which is 1 so for n equals to 2 we get a2 which is 1 square which is again 1 so all terms are 1 in this way so then the generating function generating function generating function for the sequence n for 1 to the power n is basically then what we have we know that generating function of any sequence a n is g x which is a naught plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square and so on so in this case generating function obviously a naught is 1 so 1 a 1 is 1 so 1 into x plus a 2 is also 1 so 1 into x square a 3 will be 1 1 into x cube and so on infinity so we get 1 plus x plus x square and x cube and in this way it's going on I in the last problem I only talk about the series so your tax is to uh, go through that uh, part and find the more closed forms so that part is called a closed form so here this is called a closed form for the generating function so you have seen that which is uh, written in the closed form so please find the plus form for this infinite series so that is your task to find the plus form I have already discussed that plus form uh, in the previous example they are the similar type of problem so please the, find the plus term uh, of plus form of the generating function so okay next go to this different exercise you will find that here we have an example so using so the, in this example it is asks you to find the solution of a recurrence relations a n minus 7 a n minus 1 plus 10 a n minus 2 equals to 0 so you can see that it is second degree linear homogeneous equation you can find it by previous method which is characteristic root method that's all you can find that way but here instead of finding the characteristic roots method it's given that using the generating function method 
So we will talk about that. So what is called the generating function method? So using generating function method to solve this recurrence relations for all n. So here basically um, because I start from a0, so instead of n greater than uh, 2, so we'll in the when we start from a n equals to 1, we take n greater than 2. So here we start from a0, so we here that's why we take n greater than 1. So remember that when we start from 0, we will take n greater than 1 or n greater than equal to 2. But when we start from n, uh, n equals to 1, so we have first term, then we will assume that n greater than 2 or n greater than or equal to 3. So remember that. So here uh, the term a0 is given which is 3, a1 is also 3. So first let me write down the uh, function. So first let me erase this part. So here we go. So first we have to erase this part. Mm, so here, so what we am talking about there. So you have to find the recurrence relation. So here the recurrence relations is. So let me write down. So here you have a n minus I think seven a n minus one plus ten a n minus two, which is zero. And here n is start from greater than 1, which means to say greater than 1, in other way to say is start from n greater than or equals to 2. So, you start from n greater than or equals to 2. Why? Because you here the initial term a0 is provided. So, here the initial term a0 is 3 and a1 is also 3. So, a1 is also 3. So, in our previous example, when we are talking about second order linear homogeneous equation, we have the initial term a1 and a2 and then we start from uh, n greater than equals to 3. So, do you hear the sound of uh, some announcement regarding corona outside my room? So, so let us uh, talk about the problem. So, here we go. Okay, so stay home and stay healthy. That is the now motto of Indian government. So here we go. So now forget about all that part and talk about the problem. So here we have this problem. So here uh, initial term are provided and here we have the reconciliation. So what are we going to do? The first tax you have to find. Uh, we assume that gx be the generating function of the sequence. We are assuming, okay, what we have to do, we have to find the generating function. So, we, what we are going to do, we first assume that gx be the generating function of the sequence an. That is, gs is of the form an x to the power n, n start from 0 to infinity. So, what we are going to do, we write, so, let me write the generating function gx equals to summation n equals to 0 to infinity a n x to the power n. So, this is our generating function. We have to find the value of a n that is will be the solution. So, we have to find a n in some function of n then we will find the solution. So, we assume that generating function of the sequence is gx which is n equals to 0 to infinity a n x to the power n. So, next part is what we are going to do. We are going to multiply the, fun, uh, the reconciliations by x to the power n. So, what we are going to do? So, here you can see that multiplying the equation 1 by x to the power n and summing from n equals to 2 to infinity. So, what we are going to do? We multiply the equation by x to the power n. So, here we have this equation 1. So, first multiply the equation by x to the power n. So, we get a n x to the power n minus 7 a n minus 1 x to the power n plus 10 a n minus 2 x to the power n which is equals to 0. Next, what we are going to do? For the different value of n, we will take the summation. So, for we will going to take the summation for n equals to 2 to infinity. So, for n equals to 2, what we get? 
n equals to 2, the equation will be a 2 x to the power n minus 7 a 1 x sorry um, any n square x square will be there so a 2 x square so let me erase this part and write it firstly so for n equals to 2 for n equals to 2 we have a 2 x square minus 7 a 1 x plus 10 a naught and x to the power 0 is 1 so we get equation and for n equals to 2, uh, n equals to 3, we get another equation a 3 x cube minus 7 a 2 x plus 10 a, if I put n equals to 3, we get a 1 x, n is uh, basically, so here we go, uh, sorry, I think here we have a square and also we have a square over here. So x cube, here we have a uh, cube over here, so here we also have a cube n equals to 0. So, in this way, so what we are going to do next we add all such equations for n equals to 2, 3, n equals to 4, n equals to 5, we get an equation and we will add all such equations. So, after adding the equation, so what we can write in more compact form, so if we write in more compact form, so what we have so we can write the equation, so summing from n equals to 2 to infinity we can write a n x to the power n minus 7 a n minus 1 x to the power n plus 10 a n minus 2 x to the power n which is equals to 0. Now if we add 0 for the uh, number of times we will always get 0. So in this part we obviously get 0. So we have as uh, basically the series which each term 0 converges to 0. So, this term will be 0 and here we have the term of all sequence. We are not adding basically, we are writing in finite number of terms. So, we are writing n equals to 2 to infinity in finite number of 0. But this does not mean we are talking about 0 into infinity. Here is the summation in the sense we are talking about the convergence of the series. So, the value of the series will be equal to 0, not 0 into infinity. Do not give uh, the mistakes, do not do the mistakes that this equals to 0 infinity. This is not, uh, this equals to the value of the series. The series is convergence and this is convergence to the value 0. So, this is specially for one of my BCS students and I think you know to whom I am talking about. So. Uh, that is uh, all things. So, so here we go. Uh, so, it is n equals to 2 to infinity n x to the power n minus 7 in this way. So, what we can do? We can basically take the summation of both term. So, each term individually or we can do in this way because the we assume that the series is convergent because we assume that the value of the series is g x. So, series is convergent. So, we can write in this way. So, x to the power n minus 7, 7 is a constant and this is does not depend on n. So, we can um, take it outside of the summation. So, a n minus 1 x to the power n plus 10 summation n equals to 2 to infinity a n minus 2 x to the power n which is equals to 0. Now, what we are going to do, we write it more compact form. So, here we do this process. So, here we go. So, let me write that down. So, what we do over here, instead of n equals to 2, we add, we start from n equals to 0 to infinity and extra term are basically redacted from this part. So, what we do basically? So, here for this first term, here the term start from n equals to 2 to infinity, a n x to the power n. So, what we do over here, so here we have a 2 x square plus a 3 x cube plus a 4 x to the power 4 and so on. So, instead of that what we do, we write a naught plus a 1 x plus a 2 x square. So, we add this term, so we uh, in this way it is going on. So, the adding the extra term have to be subtracted. 
So we subtract a naught minus a one x, and this term a naught a one a naught plus a one x plus a two x square. You can see that this is totally g x because if I put n equals to zero, we get a zero x to the power zero, which is a naught. If I put n equals to one, we get a one x, and in this way, so this is can written as g x minus a naught minus a one x. So here you can see that what that is is summation n equals to zero to infinity a n x to the power n minus a naught, and here we can see that this is g x minus the value of a naught minus value of a one. We put that value. So this is the, for the first term. What we do for the second term here we have some problem. Uh, so in, uh, at the time of writing, so it will be a a minus one. Why it will be a n minus one? So let me write that down. What we do over here? We just take x outside of this summation. So what we do over here? So let me write down that part. So what we do for the second part? So for the second part, we write something like that: seven summation n equals to two to infinity. A n minus one x to the power n. So what we do basically, we write summation n equals to two to infinity a n minus one x to the power n minus one into x. And because this x does not depend on n, so we can take outside of the equation. So we get n equals to two to infinity a n minus one x to the power n minus one. So we have written that part. So here, instead of a n minus two, it will be a n minus one. Similarly, over here, we have we take common x square because we have x to the power n over here. We write so for third term, what we write for third term. So for this third term, we write basically. So here, for we have the third term, ten uh, n equals to two to infinity a n minus Two x to the power n, which is basically, if I take right in this way, summation n equals to two to infinity a n minus two x to the power n minus two x square. So we, now x square does not depend on n, so we can take outside of the summation. So ten x square summation n equals to two to infinity. A n minus two x to the power n minus two. So we write in that way. So let me erase that all parts. So here we go. Otherwise, we have uh, difficulty to find a space to write next part. So that's why I have to erase this part. So if you would want to take the notes, just pause the video and then again resume the video. After a few minutes or few seconds, the time you take the down. So, so here we have go. So here we basically put the value. You can see that. So just let me over here. So it is written over g x minus. We put the value of a not a not is three, and here a one is three. You can see that. So we take a not is three. A one is three basically. So. That's how it is defined minus seven x. So next part, what we do basically, we we'll basically take uh, the form n equals to one. So summation was form n equals to two. Now here we take the summation for n equals to one, and extra term will be subtracted. So let me write that down.